Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha and in today's episode we will be discussing about the topic of Venezuela lost its last glacier. So all over the world Venezuela has become the first country which has lost all of its glaciers. It means all the glaciers which were present in the country Venezuela are lost now. Let us first understand the timeline. First, we will be looking at the news. Then what are glaciers? Why are glaciers disappearing? What are the reasons that Venezuela has lost all of its glacier? And in the end, prelims practice question. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper 1 that is geography glacier part and general studies paper 3 that is environment with regard to the climate change which comes under the reasons why the why Venezuela has lost all of its glacier. So the news talks about that Venezuela which is a South American country it has likely become the first country in modern history to lose all its glacier and this is what makes this topic extremely extremely important. It can be asked that which country has become the first country which has lost all of its glacier, which country has become the first country which is on the verge of losing all of its glaciers. So it can be asked in many many things and this can be this can be a very important point in your mains answer writing also. So, and scientists have reclassified the Humboldt glacier which is considered to be the last glacier of Venezuela which has melted. Now, Venezuela's last remaining glacier as an ice field earlier this month. So, scientists have reclassified the Humboldt glacier as ice field now because the Humboldt glacier does not possess the length and the width or the area which is required to be considered as a glacier and now the scientists have reclassified it from glacier to ice field. So the last glacier of Venezuela which has melted or has become ice field is Humboldt glacier. So Humboldt see this term Humboldt I am sure you must have heard what is it? Humboldt is also a current, a water current. So let us first look at the location of Venezuela country on the map and that is Venezuela is a South American country. So this is Venezuela and Venezuela shares its land borders with Colombia, Brazil and Guiana. So Brazil on the southern side, Colombia on the western side and Guiana on the eastern side while the northern side it shares is with Caribbean Sea. So the maritime boundary is with Caribbean Sea, land boundary is with three countries that is Colombia, Brazil and Guiana. So Venezuela is also a country which very much remains in news and not for the good reasons. First of all when Venezuela has a very large oil deposits, then Venezuela remains in news for its inflation, then there is civil war which goes on, then the currency price went on to very high. So in last one to two decades, Venezuela and Venezuela's economy has touched to its lowest mark. Now let us see about Venezuela glaciers. So Venezuela you can say was home to six glaciers. So Venezuela was home to six glaciers which were located at about 5000 meters above sea level in the Andes mountains. See Andes mountains because Andes is a mountain range which which is a mountain range in the South American continent. So, see this is the South American continent map. So, Andes mountain range, Andes mountain range travels in the South American continent range with Argentina, Chile, then you have Bolivia, then you have Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela. So, these are the countries which form a part of the Andes mountain range. And in by the time 2011, five of them has vanished. So in total, Venezuela had six glaciers. And by that by the time of 2011, out of these six, five glaciers vanished. And the only glacier which remained was the Humboldt glacier. And which Humboldt glacier has now been reclassified as ice sheet by the scientists. And scientists expected the Humboldt glacier to last another decade. 
बट द हम हमबोल्ट ग्लेशियर हैज मेल्टेड वेरी फास्ट एज कंपेयर टू वॉट द साइंटिस्ट वर प्रिडिक्टिंग मेल्टेड एट अ फास्टर रेट देन एक्सपेक्टेड एंड इट श्रेंक टू एन एरिया ऑफ लेस देन टू हेक्टेस लीडिंग टू इट्स डाउन ग्रेड फ्रॉम अ ग्लेशियर टू एन आइस फील्ड सो द रिक्वायर्ड एरिया सी देर इज नो इंटरनेशनली एक्सेप्टेड डेफिनेशन दैट हाउ मच एरिया अ ग्लेशियर शुड हैव बट देर देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स विच द विच पीपल और द साइंटिस्ट और द एनवायरमेंटलिस्ट दे टेंड टू बिलीव सो द द हम्बोल्ट ग्लेशियर द हम्बोल्ट ग्लेशियर श्रेंक टू एन एरिया ऑफ लेस देन टू हेक्टेस एंड बिकॉज इट श्रेंक and the area became less than 2 hectares it was downgraded from a glacier to a ice field and first of all what is a glacier see glacier uh, let me show you yeah see this image glaciers are huge bodies you can say or huge sheets or huge entities of snow or ice see glaciers consists of many thing it consists of snow it, it consists of ice it is solid in nature it it also contains sand silt and many things and it melts very slowly and it feels like that a slow river is moving a slow river is coming or is moving when the glaciers are melting and glaciers are so huge in size that they move very slowly also and the most important is because of the gravity and they are such huge huge blocks of ice that when they melt they tend to increase the water level to a very high extent and glaciers in itself are considered to be very important for the ecosystem because they are a continuous source of fresh water for the ecosystem so this is this was about glacier now let us know about glaciers so glaciers out of total water 2.1% is in glacier so out of the total water present on the earth 2.1% is the water which which the glacier contains contains and maximum amount of water is in oceans so glaciers are large huge very large and thick masses of ice that are formed on land due to the accumulation of snow over centuries so when see accumulation of snow over a long period of time when it gets accumulated and with regard to the pressure being put on it it gets accumulated and forms a large and thick mass and that is what is called a glacier according to the united states geological survey it says that it glaciers usually exist and form in areas where the mean annual temperature reach near the freezing point so glaciers are usually formed at a place where the mean annual temperature it reaches near the freezing point and that is very important see freezing point is the stage where the liquid can get into the shape of an ice or it turns its shape and glaciers because it is because it is thick it is large they also become solid in size and that is why they need temperature which is low they need temperature where it can sustain its form so near the freezing point and winter precipitation leads to significant snow accumulation now this is also one of the reason that how the formation of glaciers also increases and the size of the glaciers also increases that is winter precipitation then temperatures throughout the remaining year do not cause the complete loss of the previous winter's snow accumulation because when snow gets accumulated over a long period of time then see normally if you will see snow then that is not thick or that is not very hard in shape but when it gets accumulated and also because of the pressure the atmospheric pressure it the form becomes very very strong or you can say stiff and that is why over the centuries it tend to take a very large shape then due to their sheer mass and gravity glaciers tend to flow like a very slow river because they are so huge in size that when they 
melt they melt very slowly and that slow melting of glacier is also a source of fresh water for the ecosystem then even though there is no internationally accepted definition of glaciers but it has been taken into consideration that the size of the glacier should be a large mass of 10 hectares and more so 10 hectares and more and humboldt glacier which was the last glacier of venezuela country the size was 2 hectares now why glaciers are disappearing what are the reasons for it first of all is the global warming global warming greenhouse effect greenhouse gases glaciers are melting due to warmer temperature see what is happening is climate change or global warming or greenhouse effect now what happens is that over the decades or if we if we say that as compared to the industrial revolution time the temperature of the earth has grown and is growing and we need to restrict it at around 1.5 to 2 degree celsius but 1.5 seems to be a very difficult target to achieve so what is happening is that as of now we need to slow down the speed at which the the temperature is rising see glaciers are entities which needs which needs cold environment to sustain and if the temperature of the earth will increase then what will happen the glaciers if they will also face high temperature or rising temperature they will also starts to melt and this is what has happened in, with the venezuela glaciers and the recent humboldt glacier of venezuela and especially with regard to the greenhouse gases and the greenhouse effect greenhouse gases like for example carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide or hydrofluorocarbons so what they do is they tend to trap the heat which comes from the or which are result of the sunlight so when they trap the heat they tend to make the temperature rise so when the temperature rise what happens things starts to become warm and because of this warm temperature what happens is that the rising temperature because of it the glaciers the speed at which they were melting as compared to that previous speed nowadays the glaciers because of the rising temperature are melting at a faster rate and because of that faster rate the 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 size of glaciers or the existence of glacier is becoming or is disappearing in nature and this is what is causing the problem and because of this disappearing of the glaciers there are there are harsh effects which the nature is facing in the form of intense heat waves floods droughts rise in sea level glaciers melting and glaciers are a source source of fresh water so that also we are losing or etc and rise in sea level is very very harmful for small island nations or vulnerable nations like for for example indonesia has decided to shift its capital from jakarta to nusantar and this is one of the reasons because of the climate change that the country has taken this decision and many of the island countries are also on the verge of you can say extinction if the climate change will keep on taking place at the speed at which it is happening as of now so these are few of the effects of climate change then venezuela glacier melting so venezuela glacier melting is andes mountain range and the glaciers of the south american countries or venezuela is present on the andes mountain range and it is the andes mountain range which pass on the pass into the south american continent parts of argentina bolivia chile colombia ecuador peru and venezuela as i just showed you in the beginning and the temperature increase of a high rate of 0.10 degree so what has happened in venezuela is that the temperature rise with regard to 0.10 degree in the last 6 to 7 decades and this is what has and this is what has led to the disappearance and the melting of glaciers in venezuela so the humboldt gla glacier with regard to the temperature increase the il nino the the appearance or the presence of the il nino also 
contributed to the fast melting of the humboldt glacier and el nino is responsible for rising the temperature and also abnormal warming of the surface waters in the equatorial pacific ocean and leads to warmer temperatures so this was about the how venezuela lost its last glacier and about the glaciers then prelims practice question and you people will give me the answer in the comment section which among the following countries share land border with venezuela colombia brazil french guiana or suriname correct code you have to talk, tell me one and two only three and four only one two and three only or all of the above so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications